Is your wardrobe ready for spring? Without upstate coordinating pieces that work together with your existing wardrobe, you won't be able to put together those transitional winter to summer, winter to spring chic outfits. So here's what I have new in my wardrobe for spring 2024. I'm not only going to show you the pieces and combine them together in a capsule, but I'm also going to combine them with a key piece that we have in our existing wardrobes. Plus, I'm going to do a spring makeup look that is trending at the moment, totally suitable for us, that will work incredibly well with a spring lookbook. Today's pieces are from Goelia, who are sponsoring the video. Goelia is one of my favourite brands, and it's popular with you as well. They are luxe, affordable, chic pieces. And also, I've got some casual items, because I know many of you are casual. Many of you also are smart. And so we've got a, a mix here that's going to be really exciting to explore. Here are my measurements. I am five foot two. Other measurements are here that, you know, we tend to want to keep secret, but you can see them here. My tummy, my waist, etc., etc. The pricing is affordable, and I've also got a discount for you of 25% off with my code Annie25. Now, again, for 2024, the Chanel style or lady jacket is on trend. Now, what you might not know is a colour we're going to be seeing a lot around is chambray blue. It's your perfect example of combining two trends in one that we can wear as women over 50. The cotton wool polyester mix gives it a really comfortable but luxe feel. And these gold effect buttons are the perfect additional element of chic. Plus it's a short length, which is great for us petites because that lengthens our legs. But also this is a modern look at the moment, these short and little jackets. So this would be perfect with a skirt and there is a matching skirt available with to go with this jacket, which I don't have. But I'm, I'm going to be wearing this with jeans. I'm going to be wearing it with other pieces in the capsule. This is going to fit perfectly in my life and in my wardrobe. And I can see myself getting so much use out of this sort of tweedy Chanel like chambray blue on trend jacket. Now the, these beautiful buttons are just for decorative purposes. It does up with hook and eye. Oh, with a jacket like this, you can make some beautiful spring look. So here we've got medium weight. We've got a denim skirt that's nice and fresh and a bit breezy. We've got um, some light colored boots, the chambray tweed jacket that's going to give you the warmth for the spring and underneath I'm layering it with just a white camisole that I've got in my wardrobe. Another look is going to be with a white pair of trousers and you could swap that out for white jeans for the spring, you know, a heavyweight white jean that's going to keep you warm. And again, this is a lovely fresh look. Now my next item is what I'm wearing here is this 100% wool, very flattering and unusual short sleeved knitted top. It's lightweight and cosy and you could easily think this might be slightly see-through and I've got a light coloured bra underneath and even with light shining at me you can't see through. It's very well made in that sense and, and black can be a bit difficult like that in the wrong light. But I love this pretty pretty neckline. So unusual. People are obviously going to comment on that when you're going out in it. Now for the spring those transitional seasons short sleeves like this perfect because you're not overheating so much yet you get chilly days so being a bit of a knit as well it's giving you some warmth so I'm going to be using this knit in a lot of the outfits to show how um, we can wear this in combination with the other items in the capsule and as I said these are going to be transitional pieces for spring for us and down in Australia obviously for autumn too these are perfect for you and in Australia obviously you've got a store in Sydney and I think you might have it in Melbourne but I know some of my Australian followers have actually gone to the stores in in Australia so uh, you you love that brand sort of uh, in person on the street this is not a petite brand but I do find that as a petite myself I do find that the clothes really work really well for me now who doesn't love a denim skirt casual fashionistas like us we love our denim Denim skirt, we need one in our wardrobe. And obviously at the moment, we know that the longer backsy, mid axi is on trend. So this was a great addition to my, addition to my wardrobe because I did not have that. This is an A-line, as I said, it's got a slit at the back, which is very modest. And I'd much rather have the slit at the back than at the front. It's also got wore a couple pockets, you know, so that jeans effect, not that you actually ever put anything in the back pocket. Well, you might put your phone, so it is workable in that sense. You could put your phone in the back pocket. Um, 
or your hands in your back pocket, you know, as we'd casually do. So I like that element of it as well. And it's got a slight raw he edge hem to it, but it's not incredibly obvious. Now remember, I'm five foot two, so this is more of a midaxi. Regular height is going to be more of a midi. Now, I love the slit at the back. I love the shape of the skirt. It gives me as a natural person and gives me that movement when I'm walking around that I need in my clothes. It also has belt hoops so you can add your belts to it to add interest to your outfit as well just add your own belts now a style tip is that a skirt like this this only line a denim skirt looks absolutely fabulous with a short jacket so you you're then getting your outfit in proportion with a third at the top and two thirds at the bottom which is elongating and it's a flattering outfit formula now everything i am showing is a size small so i'm quickly showing you how you know this can be worn with this little black top transitional combination color wise weight wise short sleeves but a knit also pairing the denim skirt say with a little light striped cardigan as well which we will come on to later pleather jacket we will come on to later but this is going to be a completely on trained look and a herringbone waistcoat now the waistcoat is long I did say it needs a short top but the belt makes a difference the belt is what is actually shortening the top part so we've still got a third two thirds style tip too for your ladies you've seen the skirt with a chambray jacket and also this lovely knitted cardigan which I'll be showing later on as well there's another outfit for you now moving on to a more chic item is this striped cardigan it's slightly thicker in that it gives you that winter warmth but it's in light colours so you know how spring can be actually really quite chilly but you want to look spring-like in the weight and in the colour of your outfit so this is perfect again as I said it goes beautifully with a denim skirt and it looks great over this little knitted top too it looks great over a camisole or over a t-shirt and the reason I chose this is because I have loved one very very similar that is in black and brown and also you have as well that's the feedback i've had from the brand that is that it's it's really been a top seller so i had to try this in the black and white as well now this one's got a v-neck as opposed to the crew neck of the brown version love it though because it is showing then the neckline of you know what i'm wearing underneath so it goes beautifully with this that's a really compliment sourcing outfit isn't it with the neckline and this little striped top as i said it's perfect for those cooler days in the spring and washable at 30 degrees now again i got a size small buttons either side so it gives you that double breasted effect faux pockets here as well the stripes line up nicely you know the sleeve to the body of the cardigan so it looks expensive it's got that luxe uh, appearance about it and edging around here as well and that's the the back again lines up well washable at 30 degrees lyocell and polyester lyocell is uh, um, cellulose which is a uh, pulped wood pulp pulped wood pulp is wood pulp now another perfect way to wear this white striped cardigan would be some white trousers white jeans you might already have in your wardrobe or a pair of smarter white trousers it's going to look she can elevate your outfit and incredibly versatile because you can dress it up and dress it down the beauty of knitted jackets like this is that you don't get the restriction that you do with a, a formal jacket so you can eat in it and you can sit if you're in a meeting and sit and make notes if if you ever go to a meeting but you've got move or movement let's wear well, like these rather smart chic knitted knitted cardigans now i'm trying to keep you guessing ladies and mix it up a bit so we're going back to playful and casual we have got a faux pleather jacket or faux leather jacket a pleather jacket this is another on trend because i've said in other videos that we have faux leather and leather is going to be so on trend in the form of jackets not in so much in trousers and so this is going to fit perfectly with that and i know many of you are like me and you're casual this is going to be wonderful for you because it is for me and so it's bound to be for you um short length which makes it absolutely great for those of us with shorter legs as well because then we're going to have that lengthening in our leg when we're wearing this with say denim skirt a line long maxi skirt or with our jeans and trousers 
absolute essential addition to the spring wardrobe. Now in Australia, this colour also has been great for fall, for autumn for you. This is going to add attitude to your spring outfit. It is again a size small, hand washable. So putting this on, I can show you. Now I have actually, does have, well, I have short arms, so sleeves come here. But it's so easy to tuck sleeves up, which is just normal for me. I'm always having to tuck sleeves, nearly always having to tuck sleeves up. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, little bit edgy, it's just us. Just us. So how are we gonna wear this? Well, of course, with a denim skirt. And as I said, the proportions, can you just not just see the proportions here? Isn't this a fantastic example of you've got your third, your two thirds and how that skirt is just lengthening you now with the short jacket. The color combinations that perfect for those transitional seasons, because this is not a summer outfit and it's not a winter outfit. This works spring and autumn, light boots. And I've also used on the skirt, I've used a leopard print belt, a light belt, um, could be white belt, could be a cream belt, beige, brown. You could do tan. You could put brown belt there and have brown boots. There's so much you can do with the fact that skirt's actually got that belt boot. I would wear it with white jeans. I would wear it with denim jeans. It is such a useful item to have in the wardrobe. Ah, oh, the quintessential white trousers for spring and summer and autumn. These modern wide leg beauties were definitely what was missing from my wardrobe because I've got linen white trousers and I've got white jeans. I didn't have anything in the middle. I didn't have anything smart. I didn't have anything middleweight. And that's what these are. Plus the shape of them, modern wide leg. I did take them up three inches for my five foot two height. You're going to wonder what about see-throughness? Well, take a look. You can't see through them at all. Such wonder. And I'm not wearing um, seamless underwear here. I'm just wearing my normal underwear. I didn't bother to think about what colour I need to be wearing under these white trousers at all or what shape I need to be wearing. So you can see that the, the quality in the uh, material and the fabric and the discretion that they're giving you. Now I've got 26 size. Now these are cotton, polyester and lyocell. There's a, a fake pocket there, faux pocket, which you wouldn't unstitch because it's not, it's not real. There's no pocket there at all in reality. Then machine wash 30 degrees, machine wash cold, which is perfect. That's what you want with white trousers. Um, but you wouldn't tumble dry them or bleach them. But to be honest, with white trousers in the side, you're going to be hanging them on the line anyway, aren't you? So how will I wear those beauties? Well, I have mentioned before that I love for the transitional seasons, a combination of white and black together. So using this sort of knitted black top I've got on here with, the, with those white trousers really is a beautiful transitional season outfit. And the shapes go so well because the top is sort of slightly slim line and the trousers are wide leg. So you've got a third to third. You've also got the balance of wide with slim. But then pairing it, say, with a lighter camisole underneath and then the jackets we've looked at. So we've got the blue jacket here, the, the um, chambray blue. But also coming up, there's this brown jacket, which again looks fabulous with it. Remember the, the white and black striped top? Gorgeous look. Next, we have got the stunning, the most stunning trench coat, honestly, that I have ever seen. Now, remember, we do not wear trench coats in the rain. They're generally for wearing, for styling, for layering, for warmth unless you're getting a waterproof one. Now this is wool and I've never actually had really had a, a, a waterproof trench coat. So that's an example. This is the second trench coat I've ever owned. My one that I have at the moment, the one that I bought years ago from Marks and Spencers was extra short at the time. It's the only one I've ever found with a length that works for me. This is the second one. But there's so much detail to this. I don't even know where to start. Let's start at the top. That's probably the best thing. So at the collar, we've got some metal work there that allows you to do it off at the collar. Generally, you're not going to, but if you want a military style look, you would do that because you can achieve it with this coat. It's got your traditional epaulets that you would expect. It's got a coat hook inside so you can hang it up. And believe me, 
And they, not all coats have those. It has got a sort of lapel here that folds down, but also button. So you can do fancy things with it and do it up in, in ways to make it interesting. You've got your belt. You've got some metal work on the belt that's just there for interest. Then you've got pockets. The pockets have got buttons on and they're workable buttons so you can undo it or do it up depending on whether you want a streamlined look or whether you want to actually put your hands in your pockets or put something in your pockets. What else? It's got buttons all the way down. It's got the double-breasted look about the buttons as well when it's done up. As I have said, everything on me generally is long sleeves so I just tuck things up. But sleeves down your hand is modern. Whether you want to wear that, and actually it adds warmth, that is quite practical to have sleeves down your hands. I find it a bit irritating. So my automatic go-to all the time when I'm putting on a jacket or, or a coat is generally the next thing I've done after I've slipped it on, my hands automatically go here to tuck up a sleeve. It's just, it's just second nature to me now. It's often a, it will be a surprise to me if sleeves actually fit me. But that folds up really nicely and works. Now here I'm wearing it with a dress so you can see the length of it. For me, a five foot two, length like this is like finding a needle in a haystack. And boy, is this coat the needle. Have I found it in that haystack? But you can see how, you know, I've got that casual vibe with it. But oh, look, look at this done up. Do you see what I mean about that military feel to it or look to it? You know, I've got the collar done up when the button's done up down the front. I've really got two coats in one. I've got the trench coat look and I've got a military style coat look. The weight of it is exactly what you want for spring and autumn. Now I want to give you style a tip number four. I think it's number four. Look how I've done the belt. Because you can do the belt up. And I said recently that, you know, the French style would be generally having the coat undone and not doing it up. If you're going for a smarter look and you wanted that military style and then you wanted to do the belt up, this is one way to do the belt up that's not using the buckle. Obviously, it's got a buckle and it's got the whole sort of buckle. But I wouldn't do that. Now, this I learned from a lady at Chico's. And you start off to do, to just do a bow and pull the strand length through. But don't pull it through so you pull it the whole length. You're pulling, up the, pulling it at just at the hoop, the original, the, the initial loop you pull through and then just lay that neatly against your stomach and tidy up two strands then that are hanging down. I hope that makes sense. Now let's talk about a stunning dress and cardigan set. The beauty of these sets is that you're getting two items in one and you can separate them out and wear them differently and separately with other things in your wardrobe. You know, so cardigan and dress. Now this dress has got um, sort of a knitted material at the top and then sort of more a cotton feel at the bottom. It's not cotton. Um, the material is lyocell, uh, polyester and viscous. But those, you know those um, spring days where when the sun's out it's baking and then the sun goes in and it's cold. It, one or the other, it's not in between. This dress would be perfect for those type of days. So you're, uh, you know, one minute you're hot, the next minute you're cold and you can put on your, your light knit to, um, you know, to keep warm. Uh, look at those beautiful buttons. You can see the design on there. There, that design. Pretty. But also, look at the, the design on the knit. So it's very pretty. So that, you know, in itself is, is a featured cardigan. It's got workable buttons, um, faux pockets. But the workable buttons, I wouldn't do up. Um, they're there to... Uh, I mean, if you're cold, you would do them up, wouldn't you? But yeah, I'd, I would tend to have that undone. As a set, it looks gorgeous and it's incredibly practical but just separate them out as well to wear them in different ways too. And it's hand washable, which is a bonus as well. Now as a set for spring, I would wear it with some light boots or some light maybe loafers, some sandals, heeled sandals. I think the shape of the dress really needs heels, so no, not so much loafers. Heeled boots like I'm wearing here, some sandals, some heeled slides maybe, if, that's, um, if you've got them in your wardrobe. But the cardigan, of course, can be separated out with something else. So the cardigan with a denim skirt. The cardigan with this little net top. The cardigan with a camisole. The cardigan would look good also. The cardigan would look good with the wide trousers too. Another two-piece set. And these are so useful because you can separate the items out, as I said before. We've got a black shift dress. It's not cotton. It's not wool. So we've got that shift dress that's useful in the winter in a knit, but more 
wait for those transitional seasons and you can belt it it's got long sleeves you can put the push the sleeves up to wear it with just you know you're one of your own belts around it um and a pair of boots uh you can put a jacket over the top there's so many things obviously you can do with a black slip dress it comes as a set with a herringbone sleeveless vest so this to me is an autumn look and uh, we've got a belt that goes around the vest. The vest has got some pretty buttons on it. There. Um, uh, or a pretty button. It will do up. It's got a workable pocket either side. And it's got the belt hoops as well. Size small as everything else is. As I said, I you know the, the design and the colour, it seems rather autumnal to me. Um, maybe spring as well, actually. A British spring look, yes, that works too. But I'm thinking about you guys in Australia going into autumn. You know, this this might well appeal to you, as well as those of us who like the, the, the traditional British spring country look. This would be perfect for us as well. So wearing the two together, the dress is a little bit long for me. It's coming to a couple of inches below my knee, which is not really where I want the dress to fall. About three inches below my knee. So I've kind of underneath this vest hitched it up a little bit underneath to give me the length I want. And then pairing it with some brown boots to pick out the brown in the jacket. But also pairing it with black boots to pick out the black in the dress. So both really work beautifully and are a fantastic autumnal look. Separating them out, I would wear the dress with the striped cardigan. I would also wear this sort of a tweedy brown jacket as well. I think that, that again is a lovely spring look with the trench coat. And then that tweed vest, beautiful with denim. And with the belt around that tweed vest, as I mentioned earlier on, you've got the right proportions because the, the belt is shortening the top part. Now I did order quite a few jackets and top, you know, knitted tops and so on. This is another one because I just love, love, love their jackets and cardigans. And so this is a tweedy one with some detail on the calf and around the neckline here and around edging down there. But it's kind of like a herringbone tweed. And we've also got sort of bronze effect buttons here. And being petite, these shorter jackets are just absolutely fantastic for me. The wool fabric is washable, which is a total game changer because you can actually, you know, you can wear it out to eat and so on. Um, and what I would tend to do if I was out going out for a curry, I would just then just put it out on the line the next day in the fresh air. For instance, you know, that problem where curry gets into clothes. Tip number five, I think that is. Now, trust me, this jacket is going to be a such a useful piece for those transitional seasons. Now, let's see how it works with the capsule. Well, I've already shown it with a black shift dress, putting my own belt underneath. Beautiful combination. This is really... Uh, a, an autumnal look isn't it now I haven't paired it with the white trousers because I felt that the weights are slightly different and I haven't paired it with the denim skirt because denim skirts are always casual you're never going to have a smart look out of a denim skirt but denim jeans on the other hand you can so it's perfect with denim jeans next up we've got a caramel jacket this is wool it is not washable but it matches a pair of trousers that I had from Guelia in the autumn. And I thought, the two are sold separately, but they're together they make a suit. And I thought that would make a lovely suit in addition in my wardrobe, and well as being able to wear the two separately. But look at that, that neckline. Now, um, together, a wonderful caramel modern on-trend suit. But separately, the jacket now, being a lighter weight than the Tweedy one, can be worn with, say, the uh, white trousers. Now, I want you to remember that coming up is a makeup look for the spring that's going to go beautifully with this out these outfits. Also, let's just have a look and see how the pieces go together with that typical item we've all got in our wardrobe that we wear day in, day out, jeans. And I will also remind you at the same time to use code Annie25 to get 25% off any item in the collection and anything else that might be appeal to you on their website. Now let's have a look at a makeup look that can work with these outfits and our other spring wardrobe pieces that we've got and outfits. So as we're fresh and modern, 
here's my naked face. The first thing we're going to do is put primer on our eyelids and I'm using my wonderful eye base from Code Beautiful and there will be a discount code down below for you where you can shop Code Beautiful but I love this eye base. It just covers up the um, you know any yellowing or discoloration you've got. Next step is to add a very very soft touch of eyeshadow. Now what you could use is say a light bronzer and I'm thinking of, um, say for instance, Laura Geller. Laura Geller's um, illuminating foundations, these type of things, or, or her bronzers. You could do that. You could put a sweep of that over your lid. The alternative that I am using is my warm palette from Warm Neutrals from NYX. And I'm going for this colour here. If you've got the palette, it's a very common palette, and I'll list it down below. But that colour there, number seven, the wide brush, sweep that over the lid and you're getting a really soft daytime look it's a bit of a play on the latte makeup and then at the bottom there's a little darker color here um that's bottom right and i am going to use that color just in the corner of my eye so creating a you know a pat it in creating that creating that bee and then what you're going to do is blend so you need to blend the brush and you want to hold it at the very end so you've got lots of movement here and you're just going to blend inwards keep blending 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 then we have eyeliner i am using look fabulous forever's navy eyeliner because look fabulous forever's navy is the only navy i have found that actually stays on my lids and doesn't give me a tattoo around, around my eyes and navy softer than black and i do tight line that's what i do so i use this on the upper lid i don't use it on the below just tight line and I go along only two thirds and then do a sweep. And I just do a sweep upwards up into my lid. Underneath, I use one from Sephora, which is a bronzy colour, 24 hour. Is it 12 hour? 12 hour. And just do half. And then we want mascara. So with mascara, I am going to use Code Beautiful. Now I'm going to put on their primer first which is called forget the fake lashes because that really then makes a big difference to the mascara i tidy up a bit i've got a bit of eyeliner here just tidying that up a bit but remember i haven't put foundation on yet so that's another opportunity then to tidy up that's why you do your eyes first so as any mistakes get covered up that way now mascara on top of that primer ah look at that now see how easy this is, this, this eye makeup. Look, I'm out of time for foundation. Before I put my foundation on, I have found that using a primer, and I'm using Look Fabulous Forever's primer, it's a game changer to my foundation. Because otherwise I find sometimes with foundations they're a bit um, cakey or don't, they're not smooth, they're not runny, they don't, they're, they're hard to blend. Um, game changer. Look Fabulous Forever's primer. So squirt my hand and run that over my face where I'm going to be having the foundation. As I said, it's a total game changer. It's sort of s then I don't even do foundation, just to glide on. The foundation I'm using is one by Lisa Eldridge. I mean, you're going to have your own foundations. So uh, a squirt on here. And I use my fingers to put this on. Dab it on first. Has some... Um, Wayne Goss, I watch him, shows us to do, dab it on, around, and then you do your blending. And see how that blends so well over the top. Now, this foundation doesn't blend so well without the primer. So it really does make a huge, huge difference. And that is what's giving me that, that lovely complexion that people were commenting on that I in the photo recently it's just that just that now before i do blush i'm just gonna let that dry a bit and um, i am gonna go on and do lips so um how i did my lips recently would have been um code beautiful's lip plumper colorer this lasts almost all day it's just uh, if, if you're going on holiday take this because um you just put it on in the morning and you're done it is so long lasting. Got slightly greasy hands from the primer. Uh, so to wind the pen up or sharp pen, the pencil up, you can sharpen it. You just twist one way and undo it the other way. So now I've got a sharp 
nib there and sweep that over the line tips, rub them, rub them together. Now that is quite matte and I don't want a matte uh, look to start the day off with. At the end of the day, if I'm, if I'm happy left with this as a slip stain, I'm fine because um, at least it's colour. But at the start of the day, I want to be, or, or what I'm doing, you know, going out and so on, I want to have a bit more sheer to that. So I'm using Code Beautiful's um, Hydrate and Tint and Glow, I think it's called. Yes, it is, in pink quartz. And I'm putting this over the top of both my lips, but I'm also using it as a blusher as well. And this is just giving me a bit more of a, hydrated lip look it's not so much sheer as just not matte and that's pink it goes with the eyes then that you've done and this is also for the cheeks so you're blending in your color of your cheeks with your lips this way and so just a little bit up here on my cheeks high up quite high up that's another way to do it and uh oh we go it's looking red because that's where i've been rubbing obviously uh but um so that's the look. It's as simple as that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that classic, lu quite luxury makeup look. And Annie 25 will give you 25% off of Goelia. And if you're interested in another video of uh, Goelia's uh, clothing, then you'll be interested in this video here.